In this lecture, I want to start working on our add movie functionality here. So when I click on this button, I want to have a nice model showing up where we can enter some movie details and we can actually create a new movie. So inside our sidebar where we have this button, well, let's first declare some data property here. So let's have data. We also have to return an object. And here I want to have a form because this form we will send to our state and we will add a new movie and also we'll use this form to send to our Firebase where we will create new movie. So let's have all the properties that we have on our movie. Here we have rating, we have, let's also define budget, We have box office. We have poster. We have our actors here, which is an array. And let's define an empty actor here. And lastly, we have storyline. Okay, so let's create a new component here, model.view. Let's declare some scaffold here and we can copy styles from model here and paste it here. So let's define some UI of our model. So here I will have a transition which doesn't autocomplete by itself, so we'll have to close it down. Okay, so inside let's also give a name here. Of this animation so model so i want to have a div with a class of model mask inside i want to have another div which will be model wrapper inside i want to have another div which will be model container and inside well i want to have three divs. So first div will have a class of model header and let's copy this here and also here and let's change this to model body and we can change this last one to model footer. So inside each one of these I want to have a slot. So my autocomplete doesn't work anymore for some reason. So anyways, slot we haven't mentioned before. Well, slot allows us to pass from our parent component something inside our child component. And whatever we pass, it will be an HTML, it will be rendered inside this slot here. And then we can also control in which slot we want to render something. And we can control that by setting a name here and let's call this header. Let's copy this also. And here I want to have body. And then here I want to have footer. Okay. And also inside this header or footer actually, I also want to create a div and you will see why. So anyways, well actually let's move it inside slot here. Okay, so we also need to register a couple of methods here. So let's add a click listener here because we have to close our model if we click on this mask and model mask will be that gray area around the model. So here let's add a method close model and then we also have to define a that method here. So let's have methods and let's define close model method. And inside this function, well, I want to check a couple of things. I want to check what is the target of our clicked element or what is the class of our clicked element. So if we clicked on this model mask or on this model wrapper, I want to close this model. 
So here we can take event as a argument and I want to check the class of this element here. So e.target dot class name if it's equal to model mask or if this is equal to model wrapper. So let's go here and let's change this to wrapper. Well, in this case, I want to close this model down. So we'll have a model state inside our sidebar. So let's add show model and it will be initially false. And let's also import our model component so from model. And I will also render this model here. So I want to conditionally show this model. So we if show model, but how do we actually close down this model if our state is here? Well, we have to emit an event from our child component into our parent component. And we can do this by this dot emit API. So here we just have to specify the name of our event. And we can also additionally send some payload here. It can be number, string, object, whatever. In our case, we won't actually use anything. So then inside our parent component, we can add a listener here. So at close. And when we hit this event, I want to just set this to false again. So show model equals to not show model. Okay. And to actually open our model, well, we have to add a on click event here. Add click. And I just want to toggle this show model and set it to true. And we also have to register this model component. So let's save and let's check what we have. So back here, if we click on add movie, well, we have this kind of model showing up. Doesn't look much until we add some UI. But if we click anywhere on this gray area on the model mask, well, the model closes down. But if we click on this white part of our model, well, it stays up, which is exactly what we need to have. So in the next lecture, we will actually add some form inside our model here.